This right here is the money. I'm gonna explain it to you. When it comes to everything that the Lord showed me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I always give him all the credit, all the glory, you know what I'm saying? Me and my homie, we was prophesying, my homie Bashan, you know, the Lord was showing us some stuff, and I'm gonna make this video, you know, short and simple, straight to the point. The Lord was showing us how he was giving us a vision that people in you know, Congress, like government, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hired, they was in this, in this building, they was pledging their allegiance, you know what I'm saying? But really, the Pledge of Allegiance is demonic because they pledging their allegiance to the devil, you know what I'm saying? The reason why is because they pledging their allegiance to the God of this world, not the one true God, Jehovah God, you know what I'm saying? And y'all may be like, well, how does they be? Y'all already know what y'all thinking. The Pledge of Allegiance is demonic. Where you get that from? Okay, so watch this. See, in the Bible, we talk about the Antichrist. You know what I'm saying? And see, I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain this to you. You got Russia, what that, what that stand for? The bell. You got China, it stand for the dragon of the sickle. America, what that is, that's the eagle. You know what I'm saying? So, if you read the Bible, it talk about the four living creatures. You got the face of a man, you got the eagle, you got the ox, you got the lion, it stand for the lion of Judah. The ox stand for the blood sacrifice back in the Old Testament. The son of man face represent the son of man, nothing than who anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the eagle. The eagle is represent the Lord flying up from the heavens on the third day. You know what I'm saying? But what I want to explain to y'all is this right here. See, America is supposed to be one nation under God, but it's actually one nation under the devil. The reason why I say that is because of this right here, bro. Because see, the Antichrist, when Jesus loosed that first seal, what happened is this. When the Antichrist get here, you feel me? See, what's gonna happen is this right here. What's gonna happen is he gonna come with that crown on his head and that bow and arrow in his hand. He gonna come on that white horse. It's a mimicker. He gonna be mimicking Jesus because he gonna why? He gonna be wanting to be worshiped as God himself. And see, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all folks. It all connects because the Lord was showing me that dollar bill is connected to it. And I'm like, why is it connected? He said, I'm gonna show you. See right here, watch this. See, you got this eagle, right? Cause see, it say one nation under God, they try to use the eagle. But see, watch this. You see your eagle on your dollar bill? Look at it. Look at his left foot. What's in his left foot? He got some, look like some grass. Then, his right foot, bro. My fault. But, what's in his right foot, bro? This man got bows and arrows in his right foot. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And why, why is that symbolic? Because, who gonna wanna be God? The eagle is supposed to represent Jesus, God. Who gonna wanna be worshipped as God when they first get here? And who gonna have the bows and the arrows in their hand? The Antichrist, the devil himself. And what are he gonna do? He gonna break it, he gonna make that false peace treaty. He gonna be he gonna be proclaiming false peace. The only peace that you can get that surpasses all understanding is from Jesus. Not the devil. And see, I'm gonna explain this to you right here. See, when the devil comes, he's gonna do two things. He's gonna proclaim peace. And he gonna proclaim that everybody needs to take their mark of the beast. So watch this right here. See, if you look on the left side of the dollar bill, you see that all seeing out that triangle, that pyramid. I looked up what that means to say a new acceptance. I looked up what it means. It means a succession of new ages, meaning the new age theory, new age, one world order, one world religion. You know what I'm saying? Same stuff that's going on now. Then you got this stuff right here that say Novus Ordo Seclorium. And see, it's, I feel like it's the wrong news, but I already looked up what it mean. And, and the people was talking about it, it equals 666. You know what I'm saying? So not only is that right there, 666, you got the Antichrist on the dollar bill, holding the bows and the arrows, mimicking. And the Lord was telling me, he said, it's the perversion of the eagle, it's the perversion of God, because people like to mimic God, people like to mock and make fun of him. But the Bible says the Lord is not mocked. See, and I'm going to say, I'm going to explain this to you. If you look under what's spelled in the Roman numerals under the pyramid, look under there. It say the great seal. What's the first seal that get opened up and loose? The seal that let who out? The Antichrist. And it's literally on the dollar bill. So you got all this stuff. You got 666. You got the first seal. And you got the Antichrist on the dollar bill. And what does it say right here? And who we trust. And God we trust. But what God is y'all talking about? Y'all ain't talking about the God is up in heaven. Y'all talking about the God of this world. It ain't right, boy. And see, what I'm explaining to y'all is this right here. Everything that people think is a conspiracy theory, it all comes from somewhere. And this is what I'm going to leave y'all with. If y'all don't know Jesus, today is the day of salvation. 
See, a lot of people, they, they, they got this problem. They don't like hearing conspiracy theories because they think it's all false. But the reality is the truth because everything comes from somewhere. Ain't nobody about to just make up something just because they want to scare some folks. It's the truth. Jesus is coming back and he coming back for a bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. The problem is people that stuck in pride, they not going to be able to see it when God trying to do something. And when God do something, they're going to miss it if they stuck in pride. So what I tell y'all is this right here. Money itself ain't demonic. You need to feed your family. But at the end of the day, make sure that you ask the Lord to humble you and ask the Lord to continue to fulfill all your heart's desires in the right way, as long as it aligns with his will. You know what I'm saying? I pray that y'all be blessed, and I pray that y'all be saved, sinned, and sanctified with the Holy Ghost. Y'all be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.